Hey there, what's going on? My name is Bessie Painda. Welcome to 11 project of 100 web project series. In this video, we'll create this awesome checklist or to-do list using only HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. You can see how these are nested within each other. You can go two, three, four levels deep as long as you wish. And you can use this as a checklist or to-do list or maybe as a flashcard. Okay, this one was just for fun. And I personally use this in Notion. That's one of the best feature of Notion. And I use this for note taking. This is a sample of my note, how it looks like. All right, so without any further ado, let's dive right into it. I already have my code data opened in here. I created the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript files. Okay, so now let's translate that into code. ul.todos with an ID of todos, li.todo. And here, task one, task two, and task three. Let's run this in live server. Well, this is how it's gonna look. Stack them side by side. Okay. And in style.css, I'm gonna get the body, add a font family of CQUI, and then a font size for overall application, that's two rim, and a silly padding, maybe like five rim, because I don't want this to be in the corner. Okay, so this is how it is gonna look. And first I'm gonna create this checklist and I will focus on the rest of that. Okay, back to there, right at the bottom, dot to do. So from earlier markup, you remember that to do is every single one of these allies, okay? So to do, colon b4, and then I'm gonna add a content for that. So this is going to be very straightforward. I'm gonna use Unicode characters to create this checkbox, and when it is checked, so I'm gonna use this Unicode character. So back into here, uh, 2016, that's the code, so I'm just gonna copy that, and then paste it here, and then back into there. You can now see that they are appearing at the right place. And then for the UL and overall styling, let me get rid of that list style type to none. There we go. And for this one, display this as inline dash block and also a margin right of 0.5 ring. Now that looks beta. So when this is active, like let me actually first add a class of active to one of those. So when this is active, I want this to be checked. So I'm gonna copy this Unicode character and back into document and style.css dot to do dot active, which means the to do that has the class of active, which is essentially this one right here. Okay, so when that is active, it's B4, which is this checkbox. So I'm gonna grab that B4. I want to change its content to this one here. So I already copied that, now I'm gonna paste it, save that, and this is how it is gonna look. From the index.html, you can see that task two was active, and now it is activated. And back into style.css, I can do one more thing. As you can see from the demo, it's checked, and also uh, there is a line throw over the text as well. So dot to do, dot active, line throw. There we go, save that. And now this is how it is gonna look. And in the script.js, first I'm gonna grab all the to-dos, that's document.query selector all. Get all the to-do, and then right at the bottom, to-dos dot for each. For each of those to-do, I'm gonna run this function. All right, to-do dot add event listener, on click. I get this to-do dot class list dot toggle the class of active. Now this part is interesting, but before that, let me just get the to-dos from there, dot to-dos, and then add a cursor of pointer here. Okay, because uh, by default it shows a text cursor and I don't want that. Okay, now if I click that, now you can see we created it successfully. Into to-do.active, you can change this color to be a little bit muted color, like triple eight, and that will make it look a little bit good. All right. So now time to focus on how to create this talk label list here. So back into index.html, I'm gonna create one more li, and this is gonna be task number four, and then right here, hit enter, and this is where the logic goes. Then uh, I'm gonna create a div with the class of toggler, and inside of which this is task number three. So you can see the markup already started to appear right here, and you can still see the checkbox there, but from the demo you can see that this is not a checkbox it's actually a carrot right there so how to create that carrot first of all this to do 
we use a pseudo element of B4 to create this checkbox. And similarly here, we are going to use the pseudo element of this toggler to create this carrot right here, right carrot, okay? So first of all, remove this to do from here because we don't need it for this one. That's removed, well, good. And then back into style the CSS, I'm going to go all the way down up until here and comment this to be toggler. And then toggler, colon B4. And now I'm going to go with the content of this. It's going to be really dead simple. Again, I'm going to use another Unicode character, which is B5, B6. And that's 2, 5, B6. All right, with a backward slash. Okay, back into here. Now you can see it already started to appear there. So I'm going to copy this line of code from there and paste it right here. Okay, so we say that when to do is active. It's going to have a text decoration line through and also the content is going to change to that check mark there. When the toggler is active, you can see from its behavior that it's going to just go downward. Okay, so we're going to add that toggler dot active and then B4. So this is no Unicode character now. It's just a very simple transform rotate to 90 degrees. That is all of it. And then a spatial transition here for the transform that's going to be like 300 millisecond and is in and out. All right. Now back into script.js, I'm going to go and grab this line of code, duplicate it. This is toggler and copy this into those togglers. So just coming back in here, just to remind you again that this toggler is going to be uh, for this one right here. Okay. So togglers and then duplicate this line of code here, copy that out and paste it three times here. There we go. And this one with an S. Okay, so we are doing exactly the same as we did for to do's. Here again, we are looping over every single one of that. Then in a click event, we're gonna add the class of active. So if I click that, this is what's gonna happen. All right, as the final step, we need to also nest something in there. So that is uh, ul.toggler-target. Again, this is going to be a to do. So I'm gonna add task one, followed by task two and task three. There we go. Now, if I just refresh that out, this is how it is going to look. Okay, so this is called the toggler target. Keep that in mind. Copy it, st style the CSS all the way up until here. I'm going to display this to none. Okay, and when it is active, I'm going to display this to block. So there we go. Now, in the script.js, here you can see toggler target is displayed to none, but still not working though. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be the active one though. <laughs> well, now you can see that it has disappeared and back into script.js, what you can do is that let's duplicate this line of code dot next element sibling. And then that is it. Now you can see if I click that, it's gonna open and you can do however you want it to. And in index.html, let's play with it. Okay, I'm gonna copy this line of code and in task three, I'm gonna paste it and paste it again. Now save that and then here now you can see how those are nested within each other. All right so that was it for this video. If you liked the video you know what to do but if you hated it let me know in the comment section below how I can do it better next time. Thank you.